What's up? Darno Mace for MMAHawaii.com with the victorious Nick Diaz here at Elite XC presents. I don't know what this is called, but anyway, Nick fought out Musin Cobre. Dude was on his bicycle the whole time. You want to talk us, talk us through it? Uh, you know, the guy's a good guy. He's a tough guy. You know, he's real confident. Real confident. That's what was doing it for him. That's what was discouraging me the whole time. Was this guy's confidence. I'm like, you aren't any good, dude, but, you know. I mean, he, he looked good. Oh, no, he, enough. you know, he stayed tough. And when I hit him with everything, you know, uh, I couldn't quite set up a good shot because he just, you know, he was tough. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, he kept moving in his weird little awkward and then turning in little circles. If it was a boxing ring, I would have cut him off and put him on the ropes and, and threw a lot more punches. So if it was a boxing fight, it would have been a lot easier for me. It was, uh, it's, you know, it's an MMA fight and you're watching out for elbows in there. I felt that landed a couple good elbows myself. Uh, but I'm pretty disappointed in my performance overall, though. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't feeling real explosive today. You know, I had you, when if, I'm, if you're going to find Hawaii, uh, some advice for me to you, anybody out there. Uh, you know, they have you out here Wednesday. They're having you be out here Wednesday, fight Saturday. Try to get out here two days early. You know, it's, it's a different climate here. Not, not on account of the high altitude, but... Uh, it's uh, it's yeah, it's really humid, and if you you know don't play around with any salt water, every any water on your salt pools, ocean, don't you know, so uh, you know, fuck you up, you know what I mean? Uh, so that's kind of what happened with you, like. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I don't like to make excuses, you know what I mean? I come prepared. I just fought a month ago, though. Usually, you know, yeah. most fighters have like a whole three months or so, or even a whole year. But uh, I gotta make, you know, I can't just retire right now, you know what I'm saying? If I want to, and uh, that's why this is a job. Uh, and uh, I gotta get paid, so I gotta do what you gotta do, you know. So, uh, what do you want to do next, or uh, who do you want to fight next? I wanna uh, fight everybody in the world who's considered a better fighter than me, okay? You won't go me yeah, and they can eat shit and fucking we can fight. You, you, sure. you, you. Actually, uh, would you fight Gomi again? You already, I mean, you already gogled him, but would you? Yeah, but I already beat him, so I want to focus on somebody that's more important than him. Okay. You know. Uh, hey, so like for you... instance, that man in there who's got my belt, who's about hey, to fight. Hey. Yeah, but you know, I figure he's gonna lose right now, anyways. You never know. Um, I don't know how that match was going to go. You can't, you know, just like this guy I fought, uh, I never saw nothing on him. I, I never saw anything on this guy I just fought um, uh, right now, and I never saw anything on, on uh, KJ Noons before I fought him. They're both boxers. You've got to be careful with these boxers because now everybody, on account of the TV, they're subconsciously learning MMA. They don't even fuck, they don't even know it. Pretty soon our kids, people's kids, they're going to already, they don't even know jiu-jitsu. Everybody's going to do it, and then they're going to have like, uh, you know, just like everybody can swim, some people swim professionally. Hey, so uh, you uh, said you might want to come out, do some seminars with your brother. So where can we get? Uh, how can we get a contact? Your website, web address? Uh, yeah, anything. You know, um, uh, I'm on a YouTube account at uh, Nick Diaz 209. Uh, you know, you could you could hit me up on YouTube, or uh, I don't do the MySpace thing, but my brother does. And uh, you know, uh, get a hold of me at my gym or whatever you got to do. But or contact Caesar Gracie at the Gracie Sports Center in Concord, Pleasant Hill. But, uh, yeah, I, I love it out here. It's great. It's great, you know, uh, not so much for making weight and, uh, and, and getting ready to fight or fighting. You know, it's nice to be here, you know, before a fight or whatever. But, uh, um, you know what I mean, training here overall, just, you know, running and working out and training and this, you know, and walking at nighttime with shorts and sandals. That's great. You know, I love it. So and real quick, it's my scene. That fight, shout out your sponsor. Shout out to your sponsor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank Chase Chevrolet. And uh, I don't know if he's going to hear it or not, but uh, I didn't get a chance out there. I wanted to get it in and out of there. You know, Goldberg get me talking and sound like an asshole or something. Uh, but I want to I thank Dr. Frank, Dr. Frank Styles from Vegas, MD. Uh, you know, Kit Cope, my corner, Victor Galden, and uh, Lucas Camaza. And... Uh, Last but not least, uh, uh, Caesar Gracie and the rest of the Caesar Gracie Jiu-Jitsu camp. Thank right, you. Thanks, and for Nick, Darnell Macy, MMAHawaii.com. Real people, real fighters, real pain.